Hello guys, in today's video, we are going to present you the top 5 blue running shoes available on the market. We made this list on our personal preference and sorted it based on their prices, quality, durability and reputation of the manufacturers. Check out the description to find out their prices and more information. So without further ado, let's get started. At number 5, we we'll present you the Ultra 1 2.5. The Ultra 1 2.5 are built for the road. They have a 0mm drop and they are a good option if you are seeking a neutral shoe. The toe box is nice and roomy. The midsole has flex grooves for stability and response and the traction is good. They have a good toe off and are built for speed. Comfort and stability. These are a great moisture wicking, which is handy if you have a sweaty fit, and the blown rubber design gives good response. The platform of the midsole is really balanced, which helps a lot with stability and support. The upper is very comfortable, with a soft feel and the breathability is good. Quality or durability? The durability here is around average for this list, and the quality is great. They have an intelligent, stable, lightweight design. Cost In terms of the cost, these are slightly cheaper than some other options on this list. Moving on to the next, at number 4, we have Saucony Guide 8. The Saucony Guide 8 has an 8mm drop and wide forefoot. They are lightweight and built for road running. The cushioning throughout the entire shoe is great here and the technology prevents chaffing, which makes for a pleasant run. These are good for mild to moderate pronation with their lightweight but sturdy responsiveness and stability. Comfort or stability The patterned mesh and no seal overlays keep things really comfy, breathable and lightweight. There is a good cushion on the midsole, outsole and points of impact. The traction here is good for road runner, which is helpful in weight or uphill conditions, and the midsole offers a very responsive run. The crash pad reduces impact very well. There is a massive amount of arc support here, and they are a good option if you suffer from plantar facetis. Quality or durability? These are a little too narrow for some, despite the wide forefoot. If you have a wide feet, you might want to buy a size up or look elsewhere. The soles don't have the best durability, but the shoes are top quality in all other respects. Cost In terms of cost, these come in at about an average price for this list. Number 3 position is holding by Adidas Duramo. These are a good lightweight option for casual trail runners who want something funky and blue. They have 11mm drop and offer a nice snug fit. They have a removable insole, a plush fill and fit, a breathable upper mesh and a really comfortable footbed. Comfort or stability The ride here is really nice and light, which is always good for a trail runner. They won't work well in extreme climate or super technical trails, but they can handle a good variety of terrain. The traction on these is very good and they are pretty comfortable overall. The heel is a little soft for some, but they are otherwise very comfy and supportive. Quality or durability? Given the price, these are great quality. The plush material feels really top quality. The durability isn't as good as some of the others on the list, but that's the only real downfall here. Cost With this really shine is in their price, the cost here is great, especially given their quality. The number 2 position has been taken by Brooks Ghost 9. The Brooks Ghost 9 is a neutral shoe and really well cushioned. They have a 12mm heel to toe drop and crash pad in the midsole for reducing impact. The flex groups in the midsole give good flexibility and aid the natural strike and movement of the foot. The traction on these is really good for a road running shoe. Comfort or stability? These are pretty lightweight and very breathable. The toe box is nice and roomy, which makes running a pleasure and they have good cushion. 
very good option if you have a wide fit and the upper is engineered in a way that makes the shoe feel really light and airy. The impact reduction really is fantastic here, which is a great if you are heavy on your feet. Quality or durability. The upper is not as waterproof as some may like and the sizes can occasionally be a little off. Other than that, they are of a great quality and the durability is good. Cost. In terms of cost, again, a little on the expensive side. Finally, the number one position is dominating by Saucony Triumph IS03. These are a great option for road running, with an intelligent landing zone under the hill for maximum bounce and energy return with good cushion. The ISO fit construction adapts to the shape of the foot. These are neutral and have a 8mm heel to toe drop. Comfort and stability. The construction of the whole shoe makes them comfortable and stable. With loads of cushion and bounce to keep your momentum, the cushion soles and flexible upper make for a responsive ride. The fit is nice and snug. They can take a small amount of time to break in, but not much more than your average shoe. There is a little bit of looseness in the toe box fabric. Quality or durability? The quality is great and the durability comes in about average. Cost. In terms of cost, these are a little pricey. 